Take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Yaggity yak! Don't go fast. Just finish cleaning up your room. Let's see that dust fly with that broom. Hello, my name is Tracy, and today I'm going to teach you about the press. Now, the first thing that you have to do with Tr the press... Trace, didn't you want to do the uh, the inside press? You didn't mean this kind of press, did you? Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. No, not this kind of press. Okay. Oh, hi there again. Th thanks for joining me. This here is the, the printing press. This may not look like much, but it's got it where it counts. It's an old hand solo line from Star Wars, if anybody knows that. But uh, I'm going to go over the basic features of the press, the basic sections, if you will, of what makes the printing press operate. And I hope you really enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying making this video. The first section I'd like to talk about is the feeder section of the press. This is actually where the paper will be loaded into the machine which will then be fed into the unit. And I'll show you. I'll actually put some paper in. This is some real good live action for you. This here is some paper. And it's going to go right on this tray over here. Now, I don't know if you can zoom in and get a good look at that, but uh, it's going to go right in here. So if you see here, this is where the paper actually goes in. And you have all these different guides to keep the paper in line because keeping the paper nice and neat is very important. So I raise it up and what's going to happen is these feet here are sucker feet that actually have vacuum that are going to pull the sheets into the press. So these here are the guides that keep all the paper in line. You guys getting all this? Now, what happens is when you turn the press on, there's a vacuum switch over here which is going to blow the sheets up and into the press. So let me show you what happens. As you can see, the, the paper starts to get blown, and as the press starts to move, it will actually pick the sheet up. And as you can see, it starts to take the machine in. And it takes the machine in and brings it to a section on the press called the registration unit. The registration unit brings the press, the paper, up to the middle here and jogs the paper before it goes into the press to keep every sheet in the same spot. So your printed material has the image on the same sheet as it is on the next sheet. It goes through the press, like that, and into a section of cylinders, which carry the image. Now, the image is created by two main sections of the press. And I don't know if you can get over here a little bit and see this. This is the water section, and this section is the ink section, because water and ink repel each other. So when the plate is on the press, where the water is supposed to go repels where the ink would want to go. And where the ink goes, where it's supposed to go, repels where the water is supposed to go. And so thus we have the image that gets transferred to the main cylinders, which carry an image to the paper and then out of the, the press. So if you see closely here, these rollers here carry water, which is called the main dampening section. And this carries the water to the plate cylinder. The plate cylinder is what's going to transfer your image to the actual blanket, which gives the blanket actually touches the paper as it goes through the machine. So that's how your image gets carried. There's three main cylinders, a, a plate cylinder, a blanket cylinder, and a cylinder underneath the press called the impression cylinder. By squeezing, by squeezing those, that paper between the cylinders is how you get your impression. Thus comes the term offset printing. Very important. That's where the name sort of comes from, because the image is actually carried from one place to another, so it offsets it to the, finally to when it's on the paper. So this here is the main section of the, the press, which mostly consists of imaging uh, with ink and water and carrying your impression. Okay, let me, let me move on to another section now. Oh, hi again. How you doing? Um, thanks for coming back for more of learning about the press. Now, in this section, I'm going to show you exactly where the ink goes. This here is an ink can, okay? And basically, this is where we take our ink and we actually place it into the press. 
This here is the ink fountain. So the ink actually gets placed right into the press here, like this, and you just kind of turn the handle and kind of smooth out the ink. Don't try this at home because it's very dangerous. Okay? So this here is where the ink stays in the machine in which the ink will then be transferred onto these rollers. Thus, when I turn the press on, you can see how the rollers turn. And you can see as I turn the ink, it adds ink to the roller. So, thus that is the inking section, which carries the ink to the plate cylinder, which works at the same time with the water system, keeping the water onto the plate as well, which keeps your image nice and clean. The last section I'd like to show you is the delivery section. This here is where the paper comes ejected out of the machine. Or if I put somebody through the press, they come out of the press really flat. So, as you'll see, there's these rollers here, these wheels that actually keep the paper down to um, keep the paper coming out of the machine. And thus I'll show you now what happens. Uh, as you can see, the paper comes out, the rollers, the wheels keep it down, and your teeth come flying out of the machine. Once you, once you finish running your press, you can then take a look at it and see exactly how it looks. Now you can see I just ran this Newsday um, paper. You know, I did, they, sometimes they ask me to run, you know, the whole newspaper. So I'll basically, uh, I'll really take care of it for them. Yankees? <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, that's how the press works. Okay, now some of you might be wondering what this section of the press is. And what this is, is actually a second color unit. And this second color unit allows you to run two colors at one time. So I may have black ink here, but I can also put like a red ink on this unit. And this is the same design. These rollers carry the ink, and then underneath are some more rollers, which actually carry water from the water fountain section of, of, this, of this second unit. This works out nice because sometimes if you didn't have this, you would have to run your whole job through one time doing the one color and then run it all through again to do the second color. So at least with this, you can put two colors in in one shot and have the job only run through the press one time. That's one time. Um, some of you might be wondering um, what that hacksaw is over here. And this is a very, um, very important part of the uh, business that I operate here. Um, basically, when my customers don't pay me within 30 days, this comes in really, really handy um, to really, you know, settle up with everybody. Another important piece of equipment that I use along with the press, which produces all of the printing work, is what I call the, the cutter. Sometimes I nickname it uh, Mr. Kata, but it's really just a cutter. Um, basically, you can cut about 500 sheets of paper in one shot if you needed to. I also use this for manicures for some of the local neighbors when they you know, need their nails done for Friday nights. The girls come over and I, I you know, give them quick manicures. Um, basically, this has a clamp and uh, this, this little handle here controls the, the depth of where you want to cut. As you can see, this paper comes forward and goes backwards. It, it's all technical in physics, but y you kind of get the idea. So what you need to do is to actually just kind of clamp down on the, the paper like this and kind of, you know, make it a little bit tight. And this is good because it really works my muscles when I, when I do this, see. Then you just press the button and Amazingly, the blade will come down and cut through the paper. Like so. Well, listen, thanks for coming to see my demo of the press. The printing press is a very, very intricate machine, and it requires a certain amount of skill to run it. It's not like you just push a button and out pops the paper the way a lot of digital copiers are today. But I'd like to show you more of it, but I really need to get back to my working out and uh, keep it myself in shape. So thank you again for coming, and I'll see you guys soon. That's a good exercise. That's a good exercise. The horse and muscles are very nice. Like. That looks great, Tracy. Push it out, Tracy. Push it out. Breathe, Tracy. Breathe. That's freaking great. <laughs>